The third palm braiding that I like to show you is called the grape. This is another one that I learned from my dad. So we had the, the grape leaf and the grape. These were pretty common at home. Often we'd put them behind our holy pictures or crucifixes, just like that. So the grape leaf is one that once you get going is I think very fun, uh, very easy. It's one of my favorite ones. And to start off with, I will pick a palm, uh, really any palm that has, that's a double leaf. Uh, you want both of these leaves. So I would split it to start with. And again, uh, leave a little bit at the bottom for the handle. Split it all the way up to the top. And you know what, at the top here, the, it's, the strings are a little bit small, so I'm gonna just trim those off to make it a little bit easier to work with. And those little bits, those could be either burned or thrown out on the ground uh, since they are blessed objects. So I've got my, my two big leaves here split. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put kind of a half fold in each leaf and split them again. So I want four branches. And I'm just gonna split it down to about where I put that handle. Split this one also. Okay. So I've got four branches here that are connected at the bottom to start with. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick one and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep going, folding over to kind of hold it in place. So this is another one of those, uh, once you get it going once, uh, it's, it's very simple. I'm gonna lay the four branches across each other. And the last one will go underneath the first one. All right, so when you have the, the first that's kind of how it should look there. Now, what's really nice is uh, once you get one or two of these done, it'll hold together very nicely. And you can just keep going across the previous one. And then the last one always goes underneath the first one. So usually once you get maybe two done, you can pull it and then now it stays together really nicely. So you would just keep going the same way. You can pick any one of the four, just fold it across, and then you take the branch that's farthest away to cover over it. And then the last one goes down through. All right. And each time I would just pull it together tightly like that. And I'll do, I'll start one over here this time. Start over there, across, across, and then the last one will go through and underneath. So that's how you start the grape and you would just keep doing it. You see these strings are very long, uh, so you can go for a really long time doing that. I've got one that's mostly towards the end. And so uh, at the end, how do you finish off the, the grape? Uh, probably to me, the simplest way is to tie it off. So I would take two opposing strings, one on each side, and I would just tie it into a knot. And I would say just, you wanna pull it snug, but be careful not to pull it so hard that you could tear the palm. Sometimes that does happen. So you just pull it snug. You have a little bit of a knot there at the top and that will hold it all together. So ideally I would let this dry out a little bit before I would trim the extra pieces, but similar to the grape leaf, if you're careful, you can just trim off the extra pieces and then finish off your, your grape. So that's the grape finished off. A uh, couple of really fun ways to, not only to decorate uh, with the palms, but uh, certainly is, is a, for me, it was great family tradition, a great way honoring my, my dad by showing you these palm braids today.